For the last 140, 145 days, I've been investing $60 into Apple every single day, no matter what the price was. Now this strategy is called dollar cost averaging, whether the price is high or if the price is low, we're gonna buy $60 worth of Apple every single day. Day. Now, I keep saying that it's by far the easiest way to invest inside the stock market because you don't have to worry about anything at all. Sometimes you're going to be buying the highs. Sometimes you're going to be buying the lows. Now, I keep telling you guys, this is not a 100-day play. This is not a one-year play. This is a very long-term play because things do happen inside of the market. The last video I showed you guys, I was up on Apple from investing $60 every single day. But now, Apple is getting sued and their price had just crashed. I'm going to show you guys how you can make thousands of dollars um, from plays like this from news like this from apple getting sued um later on in this video so go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button that is by far the easiest and free way to help a, a small content creator like me so if you don't already have your brokerage account i'm going to leave a link to moomoo Moo down in the description um you sign up deposit hundred dollars and you can receive up to 15 free stocks i'm gonna also leave a link down to weeble down in the description you sign up with that deposit any amount of money even a penny if you want to um receive up to 15 free stocks um with those 15 free stocks you could keep them aside the platform and decide to use it or you can sell all those free stocks and redraw all of your money guys it's literally free money do not miss out on that amazing opportunity but let's go ahead and dive straight into my portfolio and then i'm going to show you guys towards the end of this video on how we can make an amazing play from bad news like apple getting sued bad news in the market to a great company is always good to us investors because we could go in at a cheaper price and buy up a great company at a cheaper price and then i'm going to do a little bit of technical analysis on them as well but enough talking let's go ahead and dive straight into this video all right dreamers here we are on my account as you guys can see over the last couple hundred days i've got 74 shares of apple with an average cost of 176 dollars and i'm down two percent the last time i showed you guys i was up but now i'm down two percent and my market value is around twelve thousand eight hundred and fifty three dollars so yes we're going to have swings in the market you don't want to just base it off of a year you want to base it off of three four five six seven ten fifteen years of dollar cost averaging inside the stock market um over the last month apple is down six percent over the last three months apple has been pulling back eleven percent but if we take a look at the year just like dollar cost averaging we're going to be buying some shares down here at the low at 164 every single day we're going to be buying some at the high at 195 every single day and then it's going to pull back to 170 170 166 still buying it every single day pull back up and guess what guys now apple is starting to pull back down over the last three months it's down 11 percent. so we are buying it on the way down we're still accumulating many more shares and with the more shares we have the more dividends we make so with swings like this going on inside the market um, it's just going to average out dollar cost averaging. It's just going to average out over the next couple of years of our price um, of our average cost price inside the stock market. And over the last five years, you guys can see Apple is up two hundred and seventy dollars. So, of course, we always want to buy the dip when we're dollar cost averaging and continue to consistently invest inside of the stock market. So as you guys can see right there, I do have a um, daily buy right there on Apple, $60 every single day. Now, before I get inside the technical analysis and pull up the chart, why does news like Apple getting sued and being pulled back a couple of percent in just a few days from the news of them being sued is because when, when we look at good quality companies like Apple, um, Microsoft, Johnson & Johnson, three, when we look at good companies and then bad news come out about that company and that and the market overreacts by pulling back, at a sell-off, nothing fundamentally changed about the company at, at all. Let's say, for example, Facebook, they changed their name from Facebook to Meta. The company completely crashed. You could have went in and bought a whole bunch of shares of Facebook underneath $100 or right around $100. Now, Facebook is around $500 right now, so you could have five extra money. I remember I've been doing this for a while. I remember when Johnson & Johnson had got sued for one of their products um, not too long ago. When they got sued, the stock price of Johnson & Johnson has crashed. When it crashed, uh, smart investors went in, bought up some shares at the bottom, rolled it right back up to the top. Whenever we see a good quality company get sued over something that's not really going to change the company at all, they're just getting sued. Some things might have to change, but not really. This Apple has trillions of dollars in, in, in cash on hand. So they have the most cash on hand that I could probably think of of any company. So they're, they're, they're going to be all right, right? So when we see Apple pull back, I'm going to pull up the technical analysis like this. When we see 
Apple pullback. This is a play for smart investors to go in and make thousands of dollars. So let's go ahead and pull up the technical analysis right quick. All right, dreamers, here we are on Apple, ticker symbol AAPL. We're gonna change this over to the four hour chart and then we're going to also change it over to the Hikanashi candles so that we can get rid of some of the fluff and just look at the um, direction of the market. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get rid of a couple of these lines. We're gonna draw some support and resistance lines and then we're gonna draw out some buy levels. So here we are on Apple. Um, the Hikinashi counters just shows the direction and the movement of the market. So it kind of get rid of some of the fluff if you're not used to investing using the regular candles. But here we go. You guys can already see that Apple was in a downtrend right here. It started in a downtrend. It's in this downtrend right here. And we've been waiting for it to break above this downtrend. It was about to break above. The news came out and it started to sell off and my bot actually gave it a sell signal. So let's get rid of that right quick so we can see it. So it actually gave it a sell signal. So Apple could continue to trend down, giving us an even better buying opportunity. Like I said, over the last three months, Apple has been trending down. That's nothing new to us because Apple has also trended down before over here. And then once it broke above this downtrend area right here, it actually shot right back up the power of dollar cost averaging. So we're just waiting for Apple to, um, break above this trend line and also break above the EMA line, which is the yellow line right here, the 200 EMA. Once it breaks above that, we can start putting in some swing trades for Apple to go all the way back up top if you are a patient trader. And then once again, you guys can always see Apple has many support and resistance lines. Let's get rid of those. This is from a couple years ago, a couple months ago, and then we could draw a smooth uptrend of Apple right there. So Apple, pretty much follow that trend lines that had a, big, a really long, strong trend line of Apple just going up, up and up. Once it broke that trend line, it kind of fell back, went back up, fell back, went back up, downtrend, went into an uptrend, and now it's in a downtrend right here. So let's draw some support and resistance lines, and we could look at some good buying opportunities. So as you guys can see, so as you guys can see right here, Apple has a double top almost a triple top. So it came right here to around $197, $200 range, $197, $200 range, around the $197 range right here again. So it has an it has a hard time breaking above this range right here. It has a hard time breaking above this strong resistance of $197 to $200 range. So the next time we get to this range, you could almost expect that Apple is gonna have a hard time breaking through there. And once it do break there, Apple's probably gonna shoot the roof. Now let's look at some support lines. Let's draw to another rectangle. We can see that there's some support around in this area. Apple comes and pulled down to 168, to 166. Went down to 168, shot back up. Went down to 166, shot back up. Then went back down to 168, shot back up. And it looking like it's coming back down. So this could be a good, um, support line right here. Apple has a good support line between 168 and 166, 167. So if Apple pulls here, you guys could go in and buy some lump of shares. Not saying that, hey, it's gonna automatically go up, but it's, it's a decent price to get in at Apple at 168. And if it do fall below this good, strong support line, if Apple do fall below 166 and 165, that is amazing news for um, investors like me because the next support line is all the way down here. It's probably not gonna come back down here, uh, but if it do, I'm gonna be super excited. If Apple pulls all the way down to 131 um, to 129, let's say if I had some money and Apple pulled in right here, I'll throw in $500 on Apple. If Apple pull all the way back down here to 130, I'm gonna double that and I'm gonna put in a thousand dollars on Apple if it pulls all the way back down here. Now another support line could be this area of uh, support right here in the EMA at around 146, 144. We can always look at that. And then we can also look at the Fibonacci retracement. We start at the bottom, go all the way up. And then if Apple, if Apple pulled back inside of our golden zone right here between 152 and 139, that's a good place to buy Apple as well. So, so that also supports the idea of being buying between 146 to 147. So once again, guys, if you have, if you want to buy Apple right here, you can buy throwing $500. If it pulls back to right here, you throwing in a thousand dollars. And if Apple pulls all the way back down to 130, you double that again and we're getting in at some good shares because if Apple do pull back to 130, 
there's a company that over long term, the next five, 10, 15 years, they will reach back to their all time highs. They're going to reach back to their all time highs. So we, but we take a look at their long position and we buy Apple around 131 and it shoots all the way back up to its all time high again to around $200. That is a 50% gain, a 50% percent gain from 131 to around $200. You guys will have a 50% gain uh, over the next couple years, even though the stock market only goes up around six to 7% every single year, Apple could have a 50% turn return very quickly if they beat these um, suing allegations. So that's it dreamers. Let me know what you think about this down in the comment section. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep you guys updated on my dollar cost average journey on Apple $60 every single day. I'm showing you guys the good, I'm showing you guys the bad. And I'm also gonna show you guys some good plays on Apple when I see it inside the stock market. These are one of those good plays that you needed to watch this video before the market opens on Monday so you can have a, a good idea on what you, a good game plan on what you need to do inside the stock market because going inside and just buying up shares with no game plan oh apple pulled back let me go buy some shares no you have to have a game plan see that's why people fail inside the stock market because you go inside without a game plan so if you have a game plan let me know down in the comment section if you actually have a game plan what is your ideas are you going to put in some puts on apple thinking that it's going to go lower are you going to wait to apple pull back so you can buy it at a better price let me know what you're going to do down in the comment section don't forget to pick up your free stocks with moo moo uh, that link is going to be down in the comment section and if you guys do want to follow my plays on discord i'm going to leave a link to patreon down in the comment section the patreon is going to take you to my discord inside there i post my um, i post my option trades every single week and we also have pro day traders in there that post that option trades every single good day so you want to be a part of a community of traders that want to be financially free just like you go ahead and check out the um, patreon link down in the pinned comment section but other than that i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show i'm out peace